Hi, I'm Jessica here at Nautilus Mission Control at the Inner Space Center in Rhode Island. Now, throughout the Nautilus expedition, we're going to be conducting numerous side scan sonar surveys. So here's the science behind that technology. We use side scan sonar to image the ocean floor looking for targets. Now targets can be anything from a shipwreck to an interesting geological formation. And once we find a target, we can send our ROV Hercules down to take a closer look with its HD cameras. Now to create a side scan sonar survey, we tow an instrument called Diana behind the ship. Diana has special transducers on both sides, and they send out pings of sound to the sea floor. Diana measures both the time it takes for the sound to return and the intensity of the returning signal. This combination gives us a picture of both what the sea floor looks like and if there are any objects resting on the sea floor. Now Diana's data has two bars in it. The top bar shows a higher frequency scan, which gives greater detail but covers less area. The bottom band is a lower frequency scan that gives greater area but in less detail. And the black space you see in the middle shows Diana's blind spot. She can't map anything that is directly below her. When we come across an object on the seafloor, it appears in Diana's data as an area of lighter or darker orange. And it often has what appears to be a dark shadow. The shadow is an indication of the object's elevation off of the ocean floor. Now one thing that we often see in the data are scars created by trawling nets used for fishing. These are depressions that usually appear as dark, straight lines on the readout. We can also occasionally come across shipwrecks on the seafloor. Now, depending on how well preserved they are, they can look very much like a ship or more like a pile of debris and cargo. So we're going to continue using side scan sonar on this expedition, and hopefully we'll find some shipwrecks and other interesting targets. Again, I'm Jessica here at Nautilus Mission Control. Stay tuned at nautiluslive.org and see if you can find any targets in the sonar on your own.